So everybody at one time or another will come across that your engine is overheating. And that's because at some time the water pump will pull in sand and gravel and it will score the cover and air will come through here and it will not pull the water. Now, just a simple measurement. The gap is about 10,000 and I'll show you this to the light. You can see how much gap there is. That's a huge gap and the air will just go through it and it will not pull the water. So what I'm gonna try to do today, since they do have plates to put over it, but they cost about $60, $70. What I have is a solder, and uh, I did some research. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll see. Now, there's flux number five, and there's flux number 95. The difference is that this one does not have a silver powder. The 95 has a silver powder, and it's recommended for brass, actually. I know usually you do a, a copper copper fittings on a, on a water lines, but it's also used on brass. So we're gonna use number 95 since it's got silver in it because we know this is brass this is not copper and brass is a mixture of copper and zinc so I'm going to clean this up prep it just like we would prep uh, a water pipe clean it put a flux on it and then we're going to start melting the, the solder on it and see how, how this will fill out and then we're going to send it down and see if it works. I know some people might say it will not stick, it might come loose. Well, you know what? Even if it doesn't stick, but it's flush, you know, the impeller is gonna, is gonna put a force on it. So the impeller is gonna hold it in place. As long as it doesn't turn around, which to prevent it, I might uh, score a little lines, like four little lines, just to keep it from turning and I'll score it on the higher not in the lowest point but I got some higher points here so I'll just make a little scorch lines and uh, I pour the solder so when the impeller is rotating it will not turn it those little scorch lines will hold it in place okay so we can see that pretty much we, we're cleaning up and now now we can really see how much damage was done to this cover it's not quite clean yet. I still have those little crevices that I have to go around and clean it. I'm using uh, a scotch Bright, and I'm just going around and, and cleaning it like this, right? Got to get to all the crevices. still have a little way to go. Now, just to show you, now this is the impeller that was inside, and uh, you can see was a quite a damage to it there must have been a huge rock that was sucked in and and just chewed through the impeller and that's what probably got stuck little pieces on, on the bottom and then just chew this huge huge ring that's sucking in air and won't let it go through so we're gonna keep working on it so I couldn't get to those little crevices like right here here see they're all little pits where the dirt is hiding inside I, I I have to clean this out so so my solder adheres itself to it so I have to use a sandpaper and kind of work myself in you know to get get those things out of there so it's cleaner like this here 
So let me use the same paper and I'll show you how it looks in a minute. Okay, I think it looks much better. It looks pretty clean to me. So now I'm going to put those maybe little scars. I'm going to put it right here, right here, right here, and right here. This is higher than this. So if I do fail, and I'm going to have to resurface this, then, you know, I'm not going to have to go below this depth here. So here we go. I decided to put more notches on it simply because it looks cool. <laughs> I use a Dremel tool. Basically you just go in and you move your tool back and forth, back and forth, just a little bit. You know, you go around and you put those notches in. So now let's go put the flex capacitor on this. Let's see where is it going to get us in the future. So we're just going to put this on. Uh, the more the better no I'm just gonna put to cover this area pretty good once you heat it up it will turn to like a liquid and uh, it's gonna start bubbling and it will spread itself all the way around anyway so there is no no worries that there's not enough I just want to make sure I got a good coverage because this flux capacitor <laughs> uh, never mind this flux has also acid in it so it's gonna etch a little bit okay so we're done with this and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it on the ground here I'm ready with my torch. I know it's only a propane. Uh, the blue bottle, the yellow bottle is... Uh, uh, now I forgot the gas name. But anyway, the yellow bottle burns a little bit hotter. I don't think I need a lot of heat here. I need about 300 to 400 degrees to, to get this poppy on the breast. And the flux will help a lot. So, and this is a, leather, a silver plate uh, solder. So let's see what we can do with this. Oh yeah, I'm recording. Uh -oh. <laughs> So far so good, 
even you know, the, the place when the there was no flux I mean it stuck pretty good yes I do have a quite a huge build up I think I put too much <laughs> you think right uh, so I'm gonna have a lot a lot of sending to do but you know what if this works this is a great way to fix this and maybe it will last a little bit longer than than a breast itself uh, you've seen it I had to get it pretty hot and I was working my way in from the outside with the torch towards the inside uh, I think I pulled the gun a little bit too soon when I put the solder on it because the 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 the, the, cup, the flux was not uh, bubbling yet but it looks good so let me send it down and see where we go from there so I definitely put too much on this um, was using a, a belt sander but uh, I think I'm gonna have a better chance to just hit the area here because now I'm just wobbling over this big blob so I'm just gonna remove as much as I can with this little Dremel and I'll go back to my belt sander and maybe a rotary uh, vibra vibratory sander to, to make it all smooth <laughs> So I did rough it out a little bit to see where I am. I'm going to use a marker. And then once I fill this up, you got the idea. I'm going to use a file to score it and see where my imperfections are. Right in the middle, there's a high spot. This is a low spot. So I'm going to keep going until I get rid of all the black ink which means it's even with this surface close enough I think it's good enough I think it's gonna be better than what it was so it's time to use a uh, tools <laughs> you know it looks pretty good I know I have a little pitting here but you know what let's see You know, I have some low spots here, but mostly it's filled in, it's holding on, the surface is smooth, you can tell that you know I got to the original surface in the middle, so all that's left is what was missing. <laughs> you know what? I think flux capacitor worked. I have the same issues inside a pump. As you can see, it's, it's pretty worn out, but there's not much I can do here. But the way I look at it, it was doing a pretty good job when it was submerged in the water. But when I put it on moths, that's where I noticed there's a problem. So I think this being less worse than my cover was, and I fixed my cover, I just increase the suction or the vacuum 
whichever one you prefer to call it, by 50%. So, I think it's an improvement, and I think it's going to work much better than this being scored the same way as this. I hope this works and helps you guys. One more thing. This is the suction hose that goes into the pump. And it's tough and it's hard to manipulate it when you're taking off the water pump. So my boat is 2008 and it came with this quick disconnect. So you just pull this tab out and it disconnects and now you have all the movements you need to take the pump out. The other hose is more flexible because you push water through it so it doesn't need to be as stiff as this guy because when you suck water you don't want this hose to collapse on you so it has to be tough. When the other hose you push water through it so it's okay to be flimsy. Remember it's going to be on the side so look past the fuel uh, cooler and you're going to see this little black thing you pop you just slide this out let me show you, you just slide it out with a screwdriver like this oops see it slides out like that there are hooks in the inside and the other side of the pipe comes out then you put in there's an o-ring here that seals the whole thing uh, that's all you really need on a suction the o-ring will suck itself into the other pipe and make it good seal and then you put the other side in and then you clamp it see this comes on and keeps the the other fitting in place great thing if i knew I would put this on my other boats. My older boats were older, so they didn't have this option. But if, if you can put this on, it's a lifesaver. And I mean a, a lifesaver. You can cut your limbs off when you're working on these pumps and these boats. That